Hey, good morning, gang. This is Dave Cook calling, talking to you from the 100 Pedals Mobile Studio, otherwise known as the Cycling for Recovery van. This is like the third take on this video, so I have no idea which one's going to show up on FaceTime, FaceTime Live, Facebook, whatever. Um, I've had technical difficulties on both, so hopefully we got this one right. Who knows? Happy Monday. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, change again. This is the fifth segment on change. Quick rehash, first, first session. Number one is why the change? What's motivating you to change? Number two is um, what's different? And what's different in a big in the macro sense? What's different? So, for example, better better health, better communication, better connection, etc. Number three is how's it different, and what are what are the behaviors or the activities that we're going to engage in to make it different? What's our commitment there? And then last week, number four was we talked about what are you celebrating? What are you on a daily basis? What are you giving yourself credit for? because progress is incremental, it takes time, and sometimes it's not always e easy to see that we're making progress. So what are you giving yourself credit for every day? And today we're gonna to talk about what are you measuring? And that can actually be um, statistically tracking progress in some way, shape, or form, because it does help. It lets you know, you know where you've been going. But the, the danger is, is that if you don't have number four in place where you give yourself credit, um, because life doesn't go according to plan, things won't always go at the pace and the, and the way you desire, you may not experience the measurable success you desire and the pace that you desire. So I don't want you to get discouraged, but it's always nice to measure progress anyway. So that's really the question is what are you going to measure? Well, what's, what are you going to keep track of? How are you going to keep score? And that's what number five is. And go, so differentiate number four from five really quick. Is number four is, for example, in in a, in a commitment, you know, like I shared before, is I made a commitment to have a better, a healthier lifestyle. Healthier lifestyle was twofold. I was going to exercise more consistently, and I was going to cut out certain foods. That was the how. I'm going to cut out certain foods and manage my cal caloric intake to a certain level. That's the how. So the number. The next step is okay. So, what are you what are you celebrating on a daily basis? Well, it's real easy celebrating it on a daily basis. Um, did I did I do the exercise I committed to? Yes or no? Um, and did I uh, avoid or uh, manage the foods in the way that I said I was going to do on a daily basis? Yes or no? And then there, in there, there can be small victories, things that you celebrate. Like for example, I went to an event last night. The event had this huge spread of popcorn and cookies and all the stuff on my forbidden food list. And while it looked really good and I was certainly um, in a place where I was hungry enough, craving enough to have it, and I could have, I made a decision not to because that didn't support my commitment to change. And so when I got home last night and I'm eating a peach and, and having something healthy, I'm going, yeah, good job, dude. You had your priorities in place and you had order. And so then this morning I got on the scale get on the scale. So that was one of my measuring. That's what am I measuring? I'm measuring my weight on a regular basis because the part of the reason I'm doing this is I want to I want to celebrate some accomplish or progress relative to less of Dave in terms of the size of who I am. And so that's what I did as I got on the scale. And here's what happened. The scale's gotten a little flat. So progress has been slow has has you know was what has been incremental. I do a 5-day rolling average and you can see it's going down. Well, I'm kind of tailing off a little bit, and I could be discouraged, and it is a little discouraging when it starts to flatten out, but at the same time, we're time out. I'm doing all the things that I said I was going to do. I'm working out better. I'm eating better. I'm feeling better about the clothes I'm in. Celebrate the progress that you're making without necessarily getting hung up on the progress that you have defined it has to be from a numerical point of view. See, there's balance in the two. And that's why it is so important to have those two in line is what are you celebrating? What are you going to give yourself credit for every day when things don't always go the way you'd like them to go as you're measuring them? We sometimes so often get frustrated that things don't go on the pace that we would like that we get discouraged and we quit because ah, I've been doing this for three months, I've been doing this for six months, and nothing's changed. It's not true. Something's changed, but you've got to be dialed into your number four. What are you celebrating? What are you giving yourself accomplishments for? What are the behaviors that you've committed to? See, working backwards, I'm focusing on my behaviors and my interactions and the things that I said I was going to do. If I'm doing those, progress is being made. It's being incremental. But it's always nice 
and it's helpful at times to keep score because there's times where you can look back and say, yeah, six months ago I weighed X, today I weigh Y. I have changed. I'm, or you can say I'm in a different pant size or I've noticed that my wife is talking to me, communicating and interacting with me differently. Even though some of the other things that maybe I would have desired out of that measurably, I'm, I can't say that it has. Um, but, you know, I, I, I can give myself credit. So that's really why it's twofold. What are you celebrating? What are you measuring? Go two ways. So we get hung up on the details. You know, people will say, you know, give me these astronomical goals and I'm going to, you know, double my income in six months. Well, that's true. That's a great goal. How much of that is in your control? How much is um, is life going to interrupt that? And if you don't get there in six months, does that mean you failed? Um, no, it means that you're learning stuff along the way on how to get there, but keeping track is still a good way to remind you to stay on task. So keep in mind, number five is what are you measuring is a great way of tracking progress towards an outcome that you've defined or desired. But unless you're working in parallel with the other things that say, here's my commitment to who I am and how I'm doing it and the behaviors I'm engaging in and the credit that I'm giving myself for the work that I'm doing, um, if I don't do those things, I'm going to get hung up on the outcome. I'm going to lose my way. It's real important to have both so that you have perspective and reality that things aren't always going to go according to plan and according to the way you laid it out. So anyway, that's what it, you know, kind of a long-winded thing about number five. It's good to say what I'm measuring. It's good to say have a timeline on how I'm measuring it and some defined objectives to those things. But don't lose your way by just keeping track of that. But it is good to have them anyway. So anyway, I will be back later this week to talk about number six. Number six is magical. And I'm hoping so far this has helped you a lot as you're thinking about the things that you're struggling with, the things that you would like to do differently, the improvements or changes that you'd like to make in your life, and the ways that different ways that you can get there. Um, that are encouraging um, as you go through it. Have a great week. We'll talk to you guys later.